December 23rd, 1989. The Lord speaks. Peace be with you. Daughter, touch my heart. Feel how lacerated my heart is. Fasula writes, With my spirit I felt our Lord's heart. The Lord speaks. Remove the thorns that now pierce my heart. Fasula says, Show me how to remove these thorns, Lord. The Lord speaks. Thorns can be removed by love. Love me. Love me, Fasula. Be my balm. Console me and bring to me small souls. Show them my heart. Tell them of my love. Remove each thorn and replace it with a small soul. Tremendous reparations have to be done to my house, but I shall rebuild it, brick after brick, layer after layer. In spite of the tremendous attacks my house receives, I, the Lord, shall prevail in the end. I shall then fill up my house with pure souls, like doves that fill up their court, so will it be too, in my own house and I shall allow these pure souls to eat directly from my hand, so that they learn to say, Abba. Divinity shall conquer corruption, corruption that through the world's vices made out of my children atheists. I intend to make out of these pure souls divine beings, reflecting my divinity. This is why I am in these days reminding you without ceasing the truth, even though I am repeating myself. Even when some of you get annoyed because I repeat myself, I shall continue to remind you of the same truths. This is the only way to stir some of the sluggish spirits. Today my Holy Spirit of Grace is rejected by the unbelievers but they do not know what they are rejecting. It is, as Scripture says, the stone rejected by the builders has proved to be the keystone, a stone to stumble over, a rock to bring men down. The footnote reads, 1 Peter 2, verse 7 to 8. These unbelievers stumble over the cornerstone because they do not believe in the works of my Holy Spirit. Yes, today my Holy Spirit of grace who descends to show you the way, the truth and the life is indeed the keystone, the cornerstone that you do not recognise and reject altogether. Daughter, Even in your imperfection, I shall be able to accomplish my messages. Take your sufferings as blessings. Think of what I had to suffer to accomplish my work, and through my wounds healed you all. I, the Lord, need generous souls who are willing to immolate themselves for others and become little crucifixes. All these sacrifices shall not be in vain. Tremendous reparations have to be done, and the time is pressing. So, little one, lean on my shoulder when you are weary. Do not fall, lean on me. United we are. Pray, my Vasula, for the cause of your era's salvation. Caress me, your God, with your littleness. Caress me with your prayers coming out of your heart. I want sincerity. I do not want obligations. I want your heart. Be perfect. Come, my eyes do not leave you. You are all, the footnote reads, small souls. You are all my joy, my happiness. Signed, Ich This, Jesus Christ, God.
God's Son and Saviour.